What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the latest Tick Watch S2. This is a brand new smartwatch by the amazing game changing company Mobvoi. Now these guys have redefined the smartwatch world. Not long ago they were the underdogs and now they are making the most desirable smartwatches you can currently buy and they keep getting better and better. This is their brand new model, the Tick Watch S2 and I'm telling you right now it might even blow your socks off. So inside the box you will find a user manual, a USB charger with a magnetic charging plate and last but not least the smartwatch itself. So here it is guys, the TickWatch S2 in black and I believe you can pick this up in white very soon. Now this is not an ordinary smartwatch, the design and build quality is unique. Now this is actually made from polycarbonate. So it's actually designed to be ultra durable, especially for outdoor sports activities and extreme sports, etc. Now you have US military grade durability, so it's built to withstand extreme temperatures, shock, dust and waterproof. This is actually 580M waterproof, so we can go 50 meters underwater with this watch. So finally, a proper waterproof smartwatch by TickWatch. Now I will put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. Now on the front we have a 1.39 inch AMOLED display with a screen resolution of 400 by 400. Now this is running the Snapdragon 2100 CPU with 512 megabytes of RAM and 4 gigs of internal storage. Now for connectivity we have Bluetooth 4.1, Wi-Fi BGN and a very decent GPS. Furthermore the watch is running the latest version of Google Wear OS. So we have a 1.39 inch AMOLED display with a screen resolution of 400 by 400. You have the Snapdragon 2100 CPU with 512 megabytes of RAM and 4 gigs of internal storage. For connectivity we have Bluetooth 4.1, Wi-Fi BGN and a very decent GPS. Furthermore the watch is running the latest version of Google Wear OS and you have a built in 415 milliamp battery which promises up to two days of battery life. Now the wrist straps are made completely from silicone which is ideal if you're going to swim with this watch. Now the watch feels comfortable on the wrist and I'm pleased to say that you can easily remove the wrist straps and replace should you wish. Now let's talk about the watch dimensions. Now this watch is 46 millimeters in diameter it's 12.9 millimeters in thickness and weighs 54.4 grams. Now the straps are 263 millimeters in length and 22 millimeters in width. Now to give you an idea of the size of this watch, I'm going to bring in the Samsung Galaxy Watch. Now this is how they fit side by side. As you can see, they are quite similar in size. Both watches are 46 millimeters in diameter. However, the Samsung has a 1.3 inch screen and the TicWatch S2 has a 1.39 inch screen. And they are more or less the same in thickness and the weight, it's 80 grams versus 54 grams. So the TicWatch S2 is super light. It is probably the lightest smartwatch we have seen so far. Now on the side of the watch, we have one single button, nothing on the other side. And at the bottom of the watch, we have our heart rate sensor in the middle and charger pins on the side. I'll quickly show you the charger. So we've got a round magnetic plate and it simply goes on top. And that is a secure magnetic connection and your watch is not gonna easily disconnect. So you can plug that into any USB source and you can get from zero to 100% in around 70 minutes. And this will provide you a two day battery life. Furthermore, this smartwatch does not support phone calls at all, so there is no SIM card slot and you cannot even make phone calls via Bluetooth. Now TickWatch are introducing a brand new feature called Tick Motion. Tick Motion is basically an automatic activity recognition. It can monitor your daily activities 24 hours a day, whether you're running, sleeping or even swimming. Now swim monitoring will count your every stroke, the type of stroke you do and the distance you swim in laps. Now in the previous Google Wear watches, you did not have native sleep monitoring or automatic activity detection. Now in the previous Google Wear watches, you did not have native sleep monitoring or automatic activity detection. You would have to manually open the app in order to start that activity. Well, TickWatch has given us a brand new AI algorithm called Tick Motion, which can automatically recognize your activities without you touching the watch or opening any apps. Now this is a very important and welcome new feature in this watch. Now the Samsung Galaxy Watch already has 
and automatic activity recognition. And I can't tell you how good or useful that feature is. So awesome work by TickWatch, a game changing feature right here people. So the next important feature has to be the watch faces. This is your default watch face. The watch faces can be changed by keeping the center pressed for two seconds and then you can choose some other watch faces. You do have quite a few watch faces built into this watch and also access to thousands of free watch faces from the Play Store. Now what I do like is you can customize the watch face colors and elements. So here are the selection of watch faces available on this watch. So now let's go through the watch features. If we swipe down from the top, we've got some quick toggles for airplane mode, settings, brightness, etc. And I will put it on the full brightness to show you. So that's max brightness and it is quite good. And if we swipe upwards, you will see your notifications. Now the thing is, you can't actually open any of these notifications. So it will just give you an idea of who's messaged you and all you can do is swipe to clear the message. Now if we swipe to the right, you've got your Google Assistant page, so you can do voice searches. You've got your weather forecast with the date, and you can play around with the cards as well. So that's the Google page. Now if we swipe to the right, you've got your fitness information. So it's a step counter, calorie, and distance all on one page. I like how they've simplified things. There's no extra pages left or right. All you have is one, two, three, and four. So a very simplified version of what we've seen in the past. Now, if we click on this blue icon here, that will immediately take you to your activities page where you can choose an activity, be it outdoor running, walking, jogging, etc. Now let's check out the system apps. You just press this button on the side. You just press the button on the side and that will show you all your apps. Quickly go through them. We've got settings, find my phone, tick exercise, agenda, alarm, contacts, find my phone, Google Fit, Fit Workout, media contacts, mob vibe privacy, you've got the Google Play Store, you've got reminders, settings, stopwatch, tick exercise, tick health, tick pulse, tick ranking, then you've got a timer, torch, Google Translate and the weather. Now if I click on Google Translate first of all, just to quickly show you what that looks like, you'll be able to translate to different languages even with your voice. So I'll quickly test this out. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? And it says, hola, como estas, hola, because I said it twice. Good morning. Buenos dias. <laughs> I hope I said that right. There you go. So you've got some Google translation going on there. Let's go back. Let's have a quick look at the Play Store. So this is what the Play Store looks like on Wear OS. And you have everything in categories. Streaming audio, I'll quickly show you one of the categories. You've got Spotify, Google Play Music, Shazam. If we go back, we look at Essentials. So we've got an update here. So there is an update available for Wear OS, which I will do later. So this watch has Google Fit and Tick Health. So you can decide which one you want to use. You can make one of them your default. 
So I do want to briefly check the GPS out. So let's do an outdoor run. So GPS locking. I have disconnected from Bluetooth. So this is now a standalone watch. So the GPS is now acquired. You can see it's turned to green and now we can start our run. Now I'm actually indoors. Now this phone is not connected to the watch. This is the standalone GPS we're testing and it's worked indoors. So another great feature that I want to show you is media controls. So you can imagine the watch on your wrist. You're watching YouTube on your phone. If you tap your screen once, you automatically get media play controls. So you can pause the video, you can turn the volume low, and you can carry on playing. You can turn the volume back up, you can skip the video, and you can pause it. So media play controls works not only on YouTube, it works on any multimedia you're watching on your smartphone. So now we're gonna test the screen on hand raising feature of this watch. If we do the hand raising, so there's definitely a few second delay before you actually see the watch face. So I'm going to compare that screen raising with the Galaxy Watch just to see which one is faster. You see the Galaxy Watch was much faster and a second or two delay from the Tick Watch. We'll do it again. So Galaxy Watch instantly on and two seconds later you see the Tick Watch screen. So there you have it guys, that was the Tick Watch S2. Now this smartwatch is designed for fitness and the outdoors. You have a rugged, durable build quality which is shock, dust and waterproof. You can go swimming and you have replaceable straps. You also have a decent performance, two day battery life, heart rate sensor and GPS is very accurate and I absolutely love the automatic activity detection with tick motion. Now I've not been swimming yet but I can't wait to get in the pool to see the swim detection in action. Now onto the cons. Screen on raising as you saw was a little slower than desired. It's sensitive and works well but the two second delay might be too slow for some. Maybe a firmware update can speed things up. Bluetooth calls are also not supported on this smartwatch and there is no NFC. So that brings us to my top smartwatch chart of 2019 allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest popular smartwatches. So the new TicWatch S2 has achieved position 6 on this chart with a rating of 8.5 out of 10. Bottom line, this new smartwatch by Mobvoi offers some brand new innovation that we have not seen yet from the past tick watches. We are talking about 5 ATM waterproof, a polycarbonate body making it very light and at the same time durable. And above all, the new feature tick motion is definitely a large step in the right direction. Now if this smartwatch had NFC and Bluetooth calls included, this watch could have easily been a chart topper and the real contender against the Samsung Galaxy Watch. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.